Hey everyone, Will here with uh, part two of my flea market finds. Uh, we just covered the uh, 1872 sword. Moving on to the uh, recurved bows. Uh, this one is, uh, I got the pair of them. They were $20 a piece. I got the pair for $35. Uh, this one says uh, the Sierra model X18. Um, not sure to make her. Uh, oh, Shakespeare. So uh, it's a 40 pound bow. Recurves always do well for me. Always like finding them. Uh, they're a little tough to find. This one's a uh, 40 pound bow. Not sure. Oh, here's a standard hunter. I don't know if that's the maker or the model. Uh, nice looking bow. Um, we'll see how they go. Uh, lampshade. It's a newer one. It's not not antique or anything, but eight bucks on that. Uh, little car here. This is from 1970. And it's uh, um, Topper, Topper Corp. Haven't looked it up yet, but I only paid two dollars for it. Uh, that was a good deal, I think. A little uh, uh, Demi Tasse, a cup and saucer, collectible. Uh, got some good markings on the bottom here. Six dollars. Seems like a good quality piece, so didn't mind spending six for that. A uh, Lennox Snail, good quality piece, seven dollars. A uh, cast iron horse, nice heavy piece, well done, only three dollars. A uh, Boy Scout mug, got this for a dollar, I've sold these for uh, ten. Now here's something you see every once in a while. Uh, everybody seems to have some Tupperware. Uh, this is a uh, for pickles or olives. You keep them in there, and it's got a little thing you pull up. You can reach them. Uh, got this for a quarter, and these sell for as much as twenty, sometimes a little more. Uh, so a nice little profit in there. Keep your eye out for uh, vintage uh, Tupperware. Little decoy carved out of wood, hand done. Signed on the bottom, Sickle Bill, Chickateague, Virginia, 325.72. Uh, got some age on it. Uh, he was five dollars. All right, where to next? Uh, we'll go around here. Like I always say, you never know what you're going to find at the. Uh, at the flea market or yard sales. Um, take a look at these monsters. These are uh, 20 millimeter. Uh, they're dummy rounds. You can see it says on there. Uh, dummy. Uh, but they're 20 millimeter and they go to a uh, uh, they're made to go to like a, a Vulcan cannon, like so, like is uh, used on the F-18. Uh, massive rounds. There's a count of them up. I, and they're pretty heavy too, even for dummy rounds. Uh, I guess they got the weight right too. Uh, count them up, and I have 62 of them on here, and it's like a 12 foot belt. Eh, maybe 10 foot. Uh, just a massive thing. It'll look great for uh, hanging in a man cave. Uh, paid $35 for this. If you figure that out, that's a little bit more than 50 cents a, a piece. Uh, I've seen these dummy 20 millimeters sell for like two, three dollars a piece, so, uh, plus the links. So that's a $200 belt. 
maybe, maybe more. Um, tempted keeping myself actually. Uh, a little something for a uh, uh, little decoration there. Uh, this this could be an interesting piece. It's a portrait of a guy. I, I'm, I guess he's military. I'm guessing a uh, 13th. 13th Regiment, Company E. Uh, somebody want to let me know on that? Um, we need to try to figure out who he is. Uh, no information on it. Uh, got it from a dealer who didn't know anything about him. Uh, paid 40 for that. This is probably one of my bad buys of the week. A uh, thermos. And... Uh, you know, I like finding the, the vintage thermoses because a lot of times they're missing out of the lunch boxes. Turns out, I went to look the price up on this, and uh, all I could find was pink ones. I thought, oh, I got a white one. Maybe I got a rare one. Well, it's supposed to be pink. It faded out. So uh, it's probably worth about five bucks because it's faded. Neat little... Um, picture holder here, missing a picture, but somebody could put one in there and uh, really dress it up. That was uh, 15. Uh, it's a lamp set up on your, uh, I guess they call it a TV lamp, it's set up on your TV and uh, the eyes will glow. Uh, that was 8. A uh, little cork drought, uh, cork carving. I paid two dollars for this. I've sold the bigger ones uh, for fifty. I think this would bring twenty, twenty-five. Uh, take a look at this. Never thought I'd own one, but it's a uh, World War II German uh, dagger. Got to be careful because uh, all the uh, um, reproductions out there, but I feel that this is, this is authentic. Don't know what that, mar that mark is there. I don't know if that's a unit or something. Uh, paid 45 for it. A bad part is that somebody took a grinder to the thing. Um, they... Uh, ground it down, probably ground two, three inches off the blade. But still, uh, as a parts piece, the scabbard is probably worth a hundred. The little emblem in the handle is probably worth a hundred. The uh, little guards, guard at the top and the bottom is worth about forty a piece. The handle, even though it's cracked, is probably worth about uh, twenty-five, thirty. Uh, so add it all up, um, I'm hoping to get about 300 out of this, uh, maybe more, who knows, if that little uh, emblem there turns out to be something else. Too bad it wasn't in better shape, but uh, I think it's, uh, I should do well with this. Uh, got, picked these up from the antique shop, a couple pieces of trench art. Uh, Guy said a woman come in and sold us said her father was in China during World War II. And he brought these home. They have a dragon going all the way around. Lots of really well detailed, um, good looking pieces. Uh, sitting on some kind of coin there. It says, uh, um, uh, birth of Republic of China and I paid twenty dollars for the pair so uh, they might be silver coins uh, for all I know a uh, couple neat pieces uh, you know what I'm not going to make a part three I'll go with uh, go with this uh, padlock check it out this is it's got a lion face on the front 
Uh, patent date of 1896 on the back. This is made by uh, York in town. And uh, had to pay 120 for this. But did a search and I found one. Well, I found one that sold without the key. This has the key for 150. Then I found another one that sold with the key for 200. Um, so I think I can get at least 200 out of them, maybe more. But uh, interesting uh, padlock. Uh, got the uh, compasses here. Uh, pretty old. I paid 25, 25, and 30. Um, so $80 for those. Nice old compasses. Like the box on that. Like how it's uh, really well made. Uh, still in good shape. This one's lost a little fluid here, but uh, still a nice old piece. Uh, should do well. Not sure what I'm going to do. I haven't looked them up. Uh, down here, Diablo saw blade. I bought that for myself. Uh, in a hardware store, they sell for like about $70. Nice finished blade with uh, 80 teeth. I've been needing one. Uh, I was, that's why I know they go for like 70 bucks. I had to pay 25 for this, but eh, it saved me, uh, saved me $45. Got a, I guess you'd call this a magazine rack. Quality piece. Made in England. Wooden brass. Paid $2 for that. Um, that could be... Uh, that could be a $50 magazine rack. Piece of uh, abstract painting. Uh, on canvas. And I'm not a fan of abstract uh, art myself, but uh, signed Ivar. And what what kind of pushed me over the edge towards buying this? Paid 18 for it. Was somebody took a plaque, and put their name on it, put the name Ivar on it of the artist. So did a quick search, and I did see that there is an artist. Um, on the internet I uh, found him his first name is Ivar and he does abstract paintings uh, haven't really gotten into it couldn't find uh, uh, examples I like to see the way he writes his name um, but we'll see it, it was a gamble on this one uh, this little piece I'm not sure what that is kind of looks like a cane I'm kind of hoping so wolf's head or dog's head uh, kind of hoping that's a salesman sample uh, paid eight for that I bought a, a railroad lantern missing the globe uh, a week or two ago and I found this nice red globe so I'm going to try to fit this in that lantern I bought that was uh, 10 on that piece of uh, McCoy pottery Got it for a buck. You can see the McCoy mark back there. Sunglasses. Old Foster. Foster Grant uh, store display. Uh, still got a pair on there. Paid $2 for the card. Go back here. Some stuff that I skipped over. Uh, good quality piece of glass. Uh, carousel horse. And it is marked. And then I, there it is. Looks like a B inside of a diamond. Uh, I have to look that mark up. But it uh, looks like a quality piece. Uh, that was uh, $5 on that. This could turn out to be a real good piece. Uh, every time I see these, I automatically think that the reproductions because there's just so many of them out there that are reproductions. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is uh, um, authentic. You can see the uh, 
Uh, flat spots on the wheels, the rubber wheels are pretty well uh, beat, cracked up. I uh, can't really uh, fake that too well. Uh, nice little fire truck and paid eight for that. That could be a winner there. We'll have to see. I uh, got the little cars. Uh, paid a dollar a piece for them. Except for the uh, fire truck here. This is Mantle. Um, same people that make the uh, little lead soldiers. And uh, these are midget toys. Um, this is plastic, but uh, uh, can't go wrong for a buck a piece on them. So, uh, I'm going to walk around here. I don't think I covered the, uh, um, what is that, the uh, cocktail shaker. I uh, really like it with the red handle. Got six cups to go with it with the uh, red base. Uh, that might be Bakelite. I'm not sure. Uh, $20 for the set. Needs a little cleaning. I'm going to go over that with a little um, aluminum foil. Ball it up, rub it over there, and that will take off uh, a little bit of uh, dirt that's on the surface. Not sure what I can get for that. It just looked pretty neat. Uh, so there we go. A lot to look at, a lot to go over, a lot to list. But, you know, um, I have my employees uh, showing up tomorrow, hopefully showing up tomorrow, um, to uh, start the business off. So it's going to be a busy day today, uh, tying up some loose ends. Uh, so uh, I'll do a uh, video along the line and uh, let you know how things are going. So uh, till next time, it's Will the Yard Sales Survivalist. And uh, we'll talk again soon.